Hello there and welcome back to this Angular course, where in this lesson we're going to be having a look at the introduction to routing. So routing is an important part of Angular application. Essentially what it allows us to do is to navigate to components by entering a URL into the, uh, the browser. So for example, if we do go ahead and enter something like localhost port 4200 slash orders, uh, we could configure Angular to go ahead and uh, take us to a component which will show us a page where it's going to maybe fetch some orders from a back end and then display them on the screen. So this is implemented um, using uh, the Angular's routing module, which we're going to have a look at in a second. But it is very important because this also allows us to uh, essentially put routes inside other routes and create an application that is more that is easier to um, to organize. So it, can, it allows us to organize different screens in different locations. And as your application start get, start, starts getting bigger, it most definitely comes in handy. So that's it. Let's have a look at uh, using the uh, Angular's routing module. OK, so to go ahead and uh, actually add in our routing module, we need to make sure if we do go ahead and go into our um, package.json here, you can see, I'm not 100% sure if we do have it. There we go. We do have, we do have at angular slash router. So we do have this dependency installed so we can go ahead and use it. Um, if you don't, you're just going to go ahead and uh, go into your projects, OCD into unit six, for example. Uh, no, not unit six. Yeah, unit six. So OCD into your project. Um, and then in there, you're, you're just going to do npm install at angular slash router. Whoops, slash router. Nope, of course I, I did it incorrectly. Can't get a slash typed. And now it's not displaying. Great. There we go. Slash router. There it is. We're going to go ahead and install at Angular slash router, and that's going to install our router for us if we don't have it. In our case, we do have it, so um, it's probably just going to either um, reinstall it or, uh, yeah, there we go. We just updated, uh, updated it. All right. Um, awesome. So we got now that we got that router, uh, we can go ahead and go into SRC app and go into our root module. Um, so in that, inside this root module, what we can now actually do is import router module from Angular slash router. There we go, just like that. So we can do that, and we do, do now have this module, but this, this isn't actually the correct way to do it because um, we can't really do anything with it here. So the correct way to actually add routing to our Angular application is to create a routing module here. So let's go ahead and do ng generate um, module, um, or m, um, ng generate module, and it's going to be routing module. Let, let, let's, do, let's do our application, our application routing module module. There we go. So let's generate that module. There we go. And we can now see that I did create our application routing module. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, and of course, I, I forgot that you don't need the module there. Always every single time everything I've created components modules, I've created them probably tens of 1000s of times at this point. And every single time I forget that you don't need to add the component at the end of component and module at the end of it's every single time. All right. Um, so yeah, um, that is how we uh, how we do. So we do have this module now. And now that we do have it, we can go ahead and uh, actually create this module. So we can go ahead and uh, for imports, all we're really going to do here is well, first of all, we, need, we actually need the router module. So we can save that. Let's import the router module. Import router module. Whoops, module. Can't type today from at angular slash router. There it is. And since it's, it's not a default export, let's go ahead and add these uh, curly braces here. There we go. So now that we import a router module, we can now just do uh, router module dot for root dot for root. And right here, what we what we would actually do is go ahead and insert our actual routes. In our case, let's go ahead and just do um, app. Let's do const um, app 
uh, let's just do route here route route equals and this is actually going to be an array of objects and inside here we would actually have some object um, which would conform to the standard route but for now we're just going to keep it empty so we just have an array here there it is and inside here we're just going to go ahead and insert the routes array and there we go comma comma module there we go and uh, that right there is going to go ahead and configure our uh, module. Now, we actually do need to go ahead and add this module into our um, app.module.typescript, but it already did, uh, actually no, no, it didn't, um, it didn't do that. Now, yeah, we do need to add it um, in imports here. We're just gonna go ahead and do uh, reset module, comma, browser module, and then after that, we're also gonna go ahead and do, um, let's see. We're going to go ahead go and import it like this. Where is it? Our application routing module. Um, import application routing module from dot slash slash. There we go. So we can go and import that and add that into the imports here. All right. And there we go. And now we have successfully added routing to our Angular application. Okay. So now we're going to very quickly start up our application. Um, one thing to note, though, we don't actually need this common module here. I mean, I just sort of ignored it, but, you know, we don't actually need it. It's fine. It'll, it, since uh, the router module will provide all the module-related stuff for us. So um, we'll go to ng-serve here just to make sure that it runs without errors. Now, of course, we don't, we don't actually have any routes configured yet, so we can't actually test the routing itself. But we're just going to start this up to show you that, um, you know, there are no errors. Everything is... a uh, done correctly and we are uh, ready to add a route. There we go. So yeah, um, it did go ahead and uh, start up and uh, we are ready to add routes. Which is precisely what we're going to be doing in the next lesson. So without further ado, I'm going to see you there.